for those of you considering the gambrel roof, which is basically the barn roof or barn style roof, you'll want to make sure that the side of the open gable of the barn roof is something that you can easily measure and divide. Let's say our structure is 24 inches wide. So I'm going to start with 24 feet and maybe 30 feet going the other way. Maybe I'll go from the other side. And I think we said 30 on this side, 30 feet. And then I'm going to come across this way. Now we're going to pull this up 10 feet. The gambrel roof is a little bit different. You'll see in the roof detail information that I gave you, there's a formula for the gambrel roof. Basically, the run is half of the width of the roof, and that also matches the rise. The height of your roof is going to be half of the width of your building. We're also going to be using our angles at 67.5 for the the cross pieces and we're going to use a 45 degree here. You don't really have to worry about these measurements too much. It'll work out. So I'm going to go back to my SketchUp file. I'm going to pick this side to work with. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the midpoint of my building. I forgot to group this so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to triple click on everything, right click and make group. Now I'm going to bring my guideline across. And I'm just going to mouse over and here you can see it's 12 because the width is 24, so half would be 12. The next part I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this up along the blue axis and I'm going to type in 12 feet. So now I kind of have the cross area that I'm working with. Next I'm going to take the protractor tool and I'm going to put in that 45 degree angle there. So I'm just going to type in 45 and hit Enter. So now if I look at this, I can see I have the 45 degree angle. I know where the top is going to go and I also know where it's going to end. The interesting thing about gambrel roofs is it's a 7-12 pitch. The lower part is 12-7 and the upper part is 7-12. We're going to click here and we're going to pull out and we're going to type in 7 12 pitch. Next, we're going to come here into the corner, pull away, and this time we're going to reverse it. So we're not actually going into this intersection necessarily. We're going to go ahead and do 12, so the opposite, 7, and hit enter. And it looks like it intersects right there. What's good about this is it sets up how we have to make our profile. So we'll go ahead now and use the pencil tool and just use our guidelines and follow what we drew with our guidelines. And it will close in just like that. Like all the other roofs, we have to add the thickness of the rafters that we're gonna use. One of the things about all of these is I'm not including the crow's mouth down here. If we were to actually be making framing drawings, we would have to include that. Our rafters would actually have a cut in them that would make them sit right here on the edge. We're not necessarily going to do that, but should you ever make framing drawings, you will have to make sure that you do those and do them properly. So now I'm going to click and I'm going to drag away from this. I'm going to see if I can get that on the parallel line there. And let's see if I can do that. I can click away. We want to make sure that that's on the right angle. So you can see on the magenta, when it locks on the magenta, you should be, there we go. And now I'm going to type in five and one half of an inch to represent our two by six. I'm going to do the same thing here. Make sure that that's going away at the correct angle. And five and a half inches. Okay, so now you can see very clearly where we would draw this. So I'm going to take my pencil tool again and I'm going to come up here and I'm just going to draw this in the intersection. Now I could leave this here if I wanted to. If I wanted to bring this down a little bit further I could and I would use that same method uh, as before, so I might just do something like that and then use this and 
bring it down and connect these. And for this, I might square this off, draw this across. And I'm going to go up. There we go. And then I'm going to delete this line here to box it off. We're going to do the same thing that we did when we did the open gable roof. So here, I'm going to triple click the inside. I'm going to use the rotate tool, let it snap to blue right there in the 90 degree angle. I'm going to click. I'm going to click away to make the arm. I'm going to click again. And now I'm going to hold the shift key and I'm going to pull that copy directly across. Then I'm going to click away to deselect and I'm going to go into here and I'm just going to delete these lines. There we go. Now I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the gable roof. I'm going to come in. I'm going to click and bring this across and use inferencing. Again, we see that hollow, but we know how to fix that. So we're just going to go up into the corner, pull down onto the blue, and close that up and get rid of that center line. And now we're going to bring this other piece across. Zoom in here and pull that across with inferencing. And now, depending on the overhang that you want to have on this, if I measure this right here and I wanted to match it, it looks like this measurement is one, two and a quarter. So I could bring this out the same distance if I wanted, or you could bring it out more. I can bring this out one foot if that's the look you want. And again, this disappears, but we know how to fix it. I'm just going to go up here in the pencil tool, come down, close that up, and then delete. And next, we're going to bring with the push-pull tool, bring this forward, one foot, and click Enter. And here is your gambrel roof. If you want to get rid of all these guidelines, you can take the eraser tool and just kind of mouse over those. Whoops. <laughs> Be careful about what you're erasing <laughs> on the back side. You don't want to get rid of that. And there's your gambrel roof. Now you can see, depending on how wide your building is, your gambrel roof might look different. So that is entirely up to you.